This is a quick demo on how to access international time series data using the UKDS.stat interface. In this example, we'll find measles and DBT immunisation data for a number of years and countries using the World Bank World Development Indicators. Here you can see the UKDS.stat homepage, which can be found at stats.ukdataservice.ac.uk. You can see this very video in the middle of the screen and you can see other guides if you click here. You can search across datasets at the top of the screen but you can also browse by dataset. So let's click on World Bank, World Development Indicators. By default some data is shown but this can be changed. There's three different dimensions, there's subject, time and location. So to change time, click on time and you can change the start year to 1980 and we'll leave the end year at 2015. If you want to select individual years, non-sequential ones you can do, you could click on select time period and then select exactly which years you wanted or didn't want. Um, but I don't want to do that. So I've got 1980 to 2015 selected, just need to click view data. So to change the subject, you'd click on subject. Everything selected by default, so unselect all. And then we can search for immunization, spelt with a Z. There's only two series which are already selected, so click view data. Now, if we wanted to select different countries, we would click on location and select the countries of your choice, but I'm going to select, keep everything selected. Um, I should also note, to switch dimensions, you can at the top here click on the different ones here. Anyway, let's click view data and we can see um, the immunisation data from 1980 onwards for all countries for measles. If we want to switch to the DBT, we'd click this drop down arrow here and click there. Now, if we wanted to see both subjects on the same screen, well, we can do. We can, we can change the, the layout quite easily. We just go to Customize, Layout, and then we can drag the dimensions as we want. So let's move subject from page down to the row box, and we'll click View Data. So now you can see both subjects are now viewable for each country. Notice the red icons, there's one here, and there's some by each country and by each subject. Well, they, they give you more, more information. So if we click the one by the dataset title, for example, and we can see here there's general information about the dataset, um, this, such as the citation, for example, which people can use. Um, there's also icons next to each subject, so if we click the one on the measles immunisation, we can see there's a definition of the actual subject. Anyway, to close the sidebar, click hide information, and similarly to close the navigation, we can also click hide navigation. To download the data, go to export and choose the format of your choice. We can also visualise the data if you go to draw chart, and click on map for example. Okay, so we can see this is a map of the DPT immunization data. Um, if we scroll down, we're missing the legend, but it's just hidden off screen, so click and drag that, and then you can see the legend. And there's lots of options here. So for example, you can change the, the color scheme if we click this icon here, and maybe we'd like it the other way around have red to blue. Let's close that and if you hover over each country you can actually see the, the percentage. So blue is a higher percentage and red is the lower percentage. Obviously we selected two series and we're just looking at DPT but if we want to do measles click this arrow here, then we'll see the map for measles. Now, we selected several years, so by default 1980s 
data has been shown on screen but if you click the play button then you can see the change in time over the years but you can also drag to whichever year you want okay feel free to explore all the other options and indeed all the other charting options for more information take a look at the guides page on the ukds.stat interface thank you for watching